Judge Napolitano has taken the bench, and attorneys Bernie Bernheim and Lee Wheel are ready to begin the case. Julie, um, why don't you state and spell your name for the record for us? My name is Julie Bushman, J-U-L-I-E-B-U-S-H-M-A-N. All right, and do you know this man over here? Darren Tucker. Okay, and how is it that you know Mr. Tucker? I know him because I provided daycare for him, child care for his two children. Okay. Can I keep your voice up, Julie, so I can hear you a little okay. better? Okay. And, and why are you suing him? I'm suing him because he left me um, owing me a sum of money. Okay. And why did he owe you the sum of money? What's your understanding of the real reason Mr. Tucker did not pay you the child care wages you had earned? I think he did it as a retaliation because I reconciled with my boyfriend. Okay. Can you, uh, can you amplify that, explain that? What is your boyfriend and Mr. Tucker have to do with you getting paid for the work you did? Because my boyfriend and I worked together and he got a job with Mr. Tucker. Okay, so what happened as far as Mr. Tucker and you? Was there a relationship going on and he felt spurned? What happened? I had known Mr. Tucker before. He'd used my services and um, about a year ago or so and then he returned and then I started providing child care for him again. Okay, actually you know Mr. Tucker pretty well. You're on a first name basis with him, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know his first name and I mean I've just provided child care for him. Okay, you provided child care for Darren, mm -hmm. right? And what, what did Darren do during the period you were providing child care that caused a problem? Uh, the problem was that Darren had a crush on me. Okay, how do you know he had a crush on you? Because of his actions. Okay, and what were the actions? The actions were um, before my boyfriend and I broke up, he would always um, touch me, poke at me, for, and I always have to, have to tell him to stop it. So Darren... How, how did he touch you or poke at you? You know, walk by joking, just poke me or just, you know, kind of put his arm around me and hug me or whatever. And, and it just, where did this take place? At home in front of everybody. Where do you provide the daycare services? Right, at home in the, in, in your in home. The home. Mm -hmm. He brought his children to your home? Yes. Okay, Mr. Burnham. And did, did you consent to this touching? Is that something that you wanted from him? No, I had to continually tell him to stop. Okay. Did, did, you, have a, did you reciprocate Darren's feelings? No, I did not. It okay. infuriated my boyfriend. It caused problems for me and my boyfriend continually over and over again until we broke up. And didn't it, in fact, cause the don't breakup? Lead, don't lead your own client, please, Mr. Bernheim. Thank you, Your Honor. Did it cause a problem that resulted in a breakup with your own boyfriend? Yes, it did. All right, so it was a serious matter. What happened then? At some point, Mr. Tucker left, he moved, then he brought his kids back, right? No, this was after he brought them back. Okay. The, the first time I did chalk for Mr. Tucker um, was for amount, some amount of months, and he was different then. Okay. And, and in fact, before the first time that you were with Mr. Tucker and dealing with his kids, you felt a little something for him, I mean, in yeah, fairness. I had, I, yeah, I, I did. I had a direction to Okay, Darren. I mean, if we're going to be honest. But certainly, the second time you took care of his kids, there was nothing there, was there? Absolutely not. Okay. But Mr. Tucker wouldn't take no for an answer, isn't that right? No, he would not. And then what did he do when you made it absolutely, finally clear you were not going to have a relationship with him? What did he do? Um, he... Monday when he returned, or when he came Monday and brought his kids to pick him up, he would not talk to me. He looked very, very angry. Usually he's very funny and he's happy and he jumping He pulled around. his kids out of your daycare you know, without paying. No, no, sustain, sustain. Don't testify for her, Mr. Burnham. Thank you, Your Honor. Right, what, what tell me what do? happened. Why, why does he owe you money? He owes me money because he didn't pay me a few days before his payday. He just took his kids and left. How much does he owe you? $635. And what's the basis of the $635? $635 is for the month for Garrett and then the three weeks for, or, and the amount of time calculated because Christy was partially out of, out of school those times and I, I charge different rates for those different right. And weeks. you've in fact submitted all of that documentation yes, to I have. the court. I've seen the bills. Okay. So Finish so, with the witness, Mr. Bernheim. All right. Uh, Ma'am, are, are you somebody that, that has affairs with your... Uh, clients or are you a true no, I'm professional? No, I, I, I'm a true professional. I spend social time with um, all my daycare parents. I have them over for dinner. Um, 
And we go out, we do things together. Okay, and in, in fact, you you do a lot of uh, volunteer work. Don't lead her, please. Tell us what you mind. do. What What's your background in child care, real quick? My background in child care beca uh, began 10 years ago when I bought my home. And subsequent to that, I also worked for Crisis Nursery Center for Neglect and Abused Children. Your Honor, we have no, this is totally irrelevant to the matter at hand. We're not contesting that she's a All child right, care it's, provider. It's background, but I think we're finished. Mr. Right. Bernheim, are we? Uh, we're finished. Okay, Thank good. Cross-examine, Ms. Will. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Bushman, you describe uh, Darren Tucker here as kind of a client from hell, really. I mean, he uh, upset you a lot, didn't he? I did not describe him as that. I think Darren is a very nice gentleman, but what he did was hurt me very, very badly. The touching, he hurt you. And the no, the, 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 the touching was not acceptable. But his behavior and the problems that he caused between me and my boyfriend was hurt me very, very badly. So he hurt you very badly. And he, he did things that upset you then. No, the, the, the touching was not appropriate. That upset you then? The touching? Yeah, that upset me, yes. And you were upset that he apparently wanted a relationship with you. Is that your testimony? No, I kept my, my, my part is very professional with Mr. Tucker. Okay, but you were still upset by the way that you say he treated you. His touching? Yeah, I, I continue to tell him to he stop. You just said the touching and the poking, that was upsetting to you, right? Right. This is a guy that was upsetting to you and to your boyfriend and your relationship. Absolutely. All right. And how did you treat him? You I, gave him free daycare for one month with his daughter? He, that's because he was a single parent just as I. His ex-wife just left him with him and he didn't he had a hard time getting on his feet. And with other parents you demanded that the payments be made in advance but you didn't ask that of my client. Did yes you? I did. You, d you asked him for advance payments? In the very beginning when I first, we said, okay, when you come back, I always get paid in advance. He knew that. And he said, I can't pay you because I don't get paid until then. I didn't expect to get the kids. I'm stuck with them. Can you help me and out? so you and let I said, that happen. I, 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 I helped him out. I, I, that's not, I don't have that kind of money. You know, I'm trying to take care of two kids by myself and pay child support for another one. And Darren, this was after she had asked you out right. and you'd said no? This was after and I after told her she'd no. gotten back with her boyfriend? Right. Do you owe her any money? No. Thank you, when Power of Attorney continues, attorney Bernie Bernheim puts Darren on the spot about the way he treated Julie. Did you ever touch this woman? Did you ever lay a body part of yours on her? Children. Did you ever touch this woman? Did you ever lay a body part of yours on her? Um, like she said, I poke her. Like I poke her in the you shoulder. You did? Yeah. Why did you Tap do on that? The shoulder. Well, her boyfriend was standing right there. It, wasn't, it was nothing sexual of any... Any you, kind. Do you think that that's cool to go and poke a woman in front of the woman's boyfriend and lay a proprietary finger or hand on that person? It wasn't person? a proprietary finger. Okay, I wasn't, what were you trying to do? Her kids were around, too. Okay. I was, like she said, I joke around a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's your way I of joking around? Yeah. Okay. And how did, uh, how did Dave, the boyfriend, feel about that? He, didn't, he never said anything about it. He knew I didn't, I didn't want his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, you... She did render services to your kids, right? Okay. okay. Do you feel you should pay her the fair value of those services? Well, she, she broke a, an agreement that we had. Like, well, like I said, it no, was no, a verbal agreement. No, no, you've got to answer the question that I ask, and your lawyer will have a chance to ask you questions. Okay. okay but my question is, do you feel that you should pay the fair value of the services that this woman rendered day in and day out for your kids? No. Well, why not? She broke our agreement. Okay. We had a verbal agreement. What was the okay. agreement that you say the, she broke? The agreement was the agreement was she was gonna, and it was her idea to not for to not Let charge me, me for my daughter. What was the agreement? The agreement was she wasn't gonna charge me for my daughter. I wouldn't have to pay in advance, and she was charging me for my son. Was there part of the agreement that called for you to do some work in the house as well? Yes, yes. She was gonna. She said I could work it off doing handyman work. Okay. And, did and you, that weekend she had gotten back together with her boyfriend. That was that was great. I was happy for her as long as we're both happy. And I don't have to listen to him cry in the other office. You know what I mean? But this she, she, never, she had never called me that weekend to come do the work, and I couldn't get her at her house. So you never ended up doing the handyman work? No. That's supposed, okay. It wasn't available, to, available right. to me like she said. So you didn't pay her the money that she was owed, and you didn't do the work. So why don't you owe her for her time? She broke a verbal agreement that we had. Okay. She was going to charge me up front. And the verbal agreement she broke was what? To let you slide? To let Sir, me, are you a deadbeat? Sir, are you a deadbeat? Your Honor, no, I'm not. This is Faircross. 
Are you a deadbeat? No, I'm not. Do you pay your obligations? Yes, I do. When somebody, when somebody does work for you, when a plumber comes in, do you pay him? When you, when you get your car fixed, do you pay in advance to have it fixed? I'm not following you, sir. Okay, and, well, I, answer I, I the question with an answer, not with another question. Right. The question, sir, Sorry. is when a plumber comes in your house and he sends you a bill, do you pay him? Yes. And if your arrangement is, hey, I'll do work for you, Mr. Plumber, at your house, then do you do the work? Just a minute, just a minute. Francine, read back the last question, please. Question, and if your arrangement is, hey, I'll do the work for you, Mr. Plumber, at your house, then you do the work? Yes, Your, Your Honor, I'm sorry, we're not talking about plumbers here or car dealers. It's, 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 a, it's, an, it's an appropriate cross-examination technique. Go okay. ahead, Mr. Bernheim. All right, so why is this different? Is it because she's a woman? No. Okay. Well, why is she different? Why don't you owe her this money? Thank you. Nothing further. Okay, uh, Darren, you can go back to counsel table. When Power of Attorney continues, Judge Andrew Napolitano hands down his verdict. And after the verdict, Julie and Darren face off outside the courtroom.